वेलकम बैक टू सिविल इंजीनियर्स यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो लेक्चर आई विल गाइड यू फॉर प्लेंथ बीम रे एनफोर्समेंट डिटेल्स फॉर थ्री स्टोरी रेजिडेंशियल बिल्डिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बिल्ड योर हाउस एंड यू डोंट नो दैट वट शुड बी द डेप एंड वेथ ऑफ द बीम इन साइड स्टील रे एनफोर्समेंट स्पेशली फॉर प्लेंथ बीम अप टू थ्री स्टोरी सो वॉच दिस वीडियो टेल द एंड टू नो अबाउट न्यू इन्फॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड स्टील स्ट्रक्चर डिजाइन ऑफ प्लेंथ बीम If you are new on this channel so you may like this video and subscribe the channel if you have already subscribed the channel so you may like this video guys you can see here this is at section for plinth beam and this is long section okay this is a long section if you see guys this is plinth level this one this is plinth level and this one guys you can see this is plinth beam remember guys here for plinth beam first of all i will guide you for some important notes so remember some important notes use minimum four numbers bars four numbers of bars and plinth beam this is the first point the second one use minimum 12 mm die of steel longitudinal bar use minimum 8 mm of stirrup die okay next one use minimum m20 grade concrete use 1.5 inch r 40 mm concrete cover and hook length is equal 3 inches angle of hooks bend should be on 135 degree spacing of stirrups should not be more than 150 mm center to center okay so now let me guide you for these details guys you can see here up to 3 story building use the size of the beam 18 inches depth and 12 inches its width this is for 3 story for two story you can use 9 inches by 12 inches no problem but this is three story therefore uh, we have more structure load of the self load of the building so therefore the size should not be less than this for three story guys you can see this is plinth level as you can see the brick masonry on the top of this plinth level we have dpc on the top of this dpc we have beam okay which depth is 18 inches width should not be less than 12 inches next guys here we should used minimum four numbers of steel rods four numbers of steel rods and the dia should not be less than 12 mm okay next guys two bars at upper portion and the dia should be 12 mm next guys you can see this is stirrup so use 8 mm dia of steel rod with the spacing of minimum 150 mm center to center okay this is concrete cover as i discussed here the concrete cover should not be less than 1.5 inches use minimum m20 grade concrete which ratio is m20 means m for m stand for mix m20 is the characteristic strength of concrete strength of concrete after 
28 days but in Newton per mm square it means 20 Newton per mm square this is the characteristic strength of m20 grade concrete okay this is very important to know about uh, the steel structure design especially its uh, detail for the concrete etc next guys these hooks you can see clearly these hooks should not be less than three inches guys you can see it should be bent on 135 degree this one like this it should be on 135 degree not on 90 degree otherwise you will face more problems guys here you can see these two bars as you can see here these two are crank bar guys you can see here at the distance of l by 4 and l by 4 suppose the span is up to 20 feet so here at the distance of 5 feet the crank bar should be provided or extra steel rods you can also provide here okay here also but here crank bar is economical compared to extra steel rod so guys this is a short video to guide you for plinth beam reinforcement for the construction of three story it's steel reinforcement detail size of plinth beam etc thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye